OK. okay. Um, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing when simplifying rational expressions is I would definitely look at this as simplifying this as, as two different problems. Simplifying negative 2 eighths times x to the fourth divided by x. OK? Now, this we should all be familiar with. x to the fourth divided by x, we know we're going to Keep subtract first. the powers, correct? OK, OK, OK. I, I was just making sure you didn't throw it at you. So we know that this would be x to the 4 minus 1, which is x to the third. And it's really x to the third over 1, right? Um, but we're not going to write that. Now, let's simplify negative 2 eighths. Now, this is important because a lot of us have trouble with the division, especially when we're doing these, because does 8, negative 2 eighths is asking us, does 8 divide into negative 2? And does 8 go into negative 2? No, so your answer is going to be a fraction. You're still going to have a fraction. So what we need to do is what we call reduce the fraction. We want to see, is there a common number in the numerator and the denominator that we can divide out? And is there a common number between uh, 2 and 8? Yeah, it's 2. So you divide the top by 2 and divide the bottom by 2. And when we divide the top and bottom by 2, we get a negative 1 divided by 4. And that's why I wrote x cubed over 1 so that you guys can see that the x cubed is still in the numerator and the 4 would be in the denominator. Therefore, my final answer, our final simplified version, is negative x cubed divided by 4. Yes, Abby? Uh, is it, like, could you put negative 0.25x? Yeah, but we're not going to be doing any of those. Just try to always leave them in fractions. Yes? I don't understand why you divide by 2. Do you understand that 2 is common between 2 and 8? Yeah. So it's basically just dividing it out. How'd you get x equal how, how do I know it's common? Well, no, why, what if it wasn't common? Then you wouldn't be able to simplify it. It's kind of like the same thing me saying 1 half is the same thing as 3 sixths. Yes, you agree with that? But we don't want to write 3 sixths. We want to write the simplest form of 3 sixths, which would be 1 half. Does that make sense? And basically what I did was I divided the top and bottom by 3 to give me 1 half. Yes? Uh, Because 4 minus 1 is 3. How do you get no, 4 minus 1? <coughs> See how it's negative 1 over 4? Why wouldn't you do, for the answer, why wouldn't it be negative 1? Oh, times x cubed. You can write it in there. But the same thing, like 1 times x cubed is the same thing as x cubed. So we don't have to write the 1 in there. But you can if you want to. How do you get the 4 minus 1? Because remember our rules of exponents. When, we, when the quotient, when you have exponents with the same base, you subtract the powers. Oh. So the powers, remember, that's a power of 1 right there. So you do 4 minus 1. Does that make sense? Coming together for me now. Sing it. <laughs>